Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to be making this beautiful card with the new release from Spellbinders, the Snow Garden uh, Collection. This is so pretty and we're going to go ahead and foil on colored cardstock which is so much fun. Every bit of this is foiled. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you how to get that bird a nice solid red. Okay, so I am an affiliate, and if you do click on any of the links below and order any of your craft supplies, I do receive a small commission. That's at no cost to you. I really do appreciate you guys clicking on my links because it does keep me going in retirement. I appreciate it. These sentiments are beautiful. They all have shadow dyes, and um, this is such a pretty collection. Look at how cute this little bird is. This is called, let me get this up, this is um, Hemlock, Cones, and Chickadee. And here are those dies. Now mine come as samples, so they come a little bit different package than what you would get. And this was our first card that we made, and we made these cute little pine cones. I thought they came out so adorable. So a lot of fun with that card. And we did foiling on gold with green right here green foil. Now's the time to order your foil uh, before things sell out. I also believe this machine is on sale, the last I checked. Um, and so you might want to go ahead if you want to get into glimmering. You want, might want to go ahead and purchase your machine now. Alright, so what I have here is a piece of colored cardstock and it's five and a quarter by four. And I have this absolutely gorgeous winter bow. Look at those pine cones and the holly. I just love that. But I want it centered. So I place it on my paper and I'm going to turn it to where the entire the entire plate fits on this piece of paper. Now you could go out to five and a half by four and a quarter, but I did want a little bit of a border and this really does fit. So which is wonderful. My machine is ready. My light is lit up. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and I'm centered and I'm centered here. And this is called the hinge technique. So I'm just going to put a piece of the best ever craft tape at the top. I'm going to flip this up. Now when you foil, it's always pretty side to pretty side. And I've got that foil right here. So it's the pretty side of the foil to the pretty side of the plate. And see the hinge where I flipped that up a little bit? I pulled that tape back so that I have a little bit of extra foil up there just to make sure that my plate is covered. Okay, now I put that back down and it should go right back into place. I'm just gonna pick it up, make sure that my sides are where I want them. See, I just wanna make sure that I'm lined up on my paper, I believe I am. And then I'm gonna place this now face down, okay? Cause you want the plate to get hot. I'm putting it on just a little bit of an angle Pressing my timer button, that's a 60 second timer, I'm going to go ahead and place my thin shim and then the spacer pad right there. Now let's go ahead and bring in the Platinum 6, or you could use whatever die uh, cutting machine that you have. And we'll go ahead and get this foiled and of course do some more foiling. Okay, I'll be back in just a second as soon as that button is solid. All right, we're ready to go. I'm going to undock this, and I'm just going to roll it through my machine one time, but slowly. I want every bit of that foil to transfer to the paper, so I just give it a little bit more time rolling through, right? There we go. I can't believe that we are so talking about the holidays, right? And getting in a lot of Halloween and Christmas and there we go. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to flip that over. And let me pull this off. And let's see what we have. See how I said? Right to the top there, as you see, I needed that that little bit of foil that I saw at the top. Are we ready? It's going to be gorgeous. And it is. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I might use it like this with the holly sticking out that way. That's just so pretty. So this is that type of a design that you can use it any which way you like.
this way, that way, this way, any which way. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to plug that back in. I want to save this waste foil because my next card, my next video will be with this waste foil. Let's go ahead now and um, let's do some sentiment. Now, this sentiment is, has a tiny little uh, letters, okay? So sometimes with that, you can get some overfoiling. I have this set up actually twice to do. So we're going to do, of course, pretty to pretty. Just like that. And I'm just going to tape that down. Let's see, where did my tape go? I'm going to tape it here. And I've got another little piece right here. And I'm going to tape it here. Now, sometimes when you have sentiments, and I'm green, I'm ready to go, I'm going to put that on on a little angle. It seems to foil better if you have, you know, if you can put something on an angle. This way it's not going through and you're hitting a bunch of speed bumps. It'll roll through smoother and then you'll get a transfer of your uh, foil a little bit smoother. And again, it comes with a, a shadow die. Okay. Now, my little silicone mat and the, this magnet also comes with this system. So I'll list the system below. Uh, and it comes with some foil, everything you need to start. You even get, uh, you know, some foil plates and everything. You're, you'll really love it if you want to start to foil. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the platinum back in. And, oh, like I was going to say, this sentiment right here, I'm going to let that blink. May you be surrounded by all the things that bring Christmas cheer. It's a pretty sentiment, isn't it? But sometimes when your little uh, letters might get full of um, foil. I'm going to show you what to do. I'll show you what I do, and I'll show you what another uh, demonstrator had shown to do also, which I've not used before. This will be my first time. My light was ready. Watch, it'll foil to where I don't have to flake anything off at all, right? Which is great, but just in case. Boy, you always hope for that, right? That you would foil without uh, having anything excess. So that's nice just to remove that with. Sometimes these plates get a little heavy and it's hard to uh, remove the plate. That's why sometimes you see me take the whole thing and dump it, you know. Now I'm going to take this tape off and if you notice I wanted also to tell you guys this if you're doing a sentiment okay make sure that you add enough foil around it so that when you use your shadow die you have that outline okay here we go we cooled off yeah cooled off enough right I get so excited Oh my goodness, it almost foiled totally perfectly. But you can see like in here, there's just a little bit, a little teeny tiny bit. Now honest, that little bit, I'm just going to take my brush and it's almost like if you get the brush like tight, you can kind of scrape it off the top. And that's exactly what happened here. That is more than perfect. I've seen others take the tape and you know, like that's not sticky. Uh, halfway sticky and put it and just pick it up and that actually pulled that right out of that G. I saw that happen. I don't know if you saw that. Let me see if, if the B will do it. Just that. See this is like this tape is used and it's not as sticky as where it comes off of the roll. So that really worked out well. So the tape and the brush and I'm telling you that came out great. Let's see if we can't get that out of that D right there. Yes, look at that. That came right out, guys. So, great tip with the tape. I got that from Nancy. I, I bet you guys watch her. She does a lot of foiling. She does um, foiling snobs. I think that's so funny. I love it. So, um, I got that tip from her. I always like to say, you know, or give credit to. Let's go ahead and cut the sentiment. I'm so happy with this sentiment. I'm shocked. 
because uh, I was a little concerned that I might constantly get over foiling with it, but no. Let's, I want to cut this out. So this is fantastic. And right here. Now, if you follow me, please uh, go over to my Facebook page. There's a link below. Uh, and just follow me on Facebook. I don't bother you with any emails or anything like that. I, uh, I only I post things on Facebook and for sales and coupons. Look at how perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect foiling. I'm so happy with that. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Now, we're going to do more foiling because... Oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's cut the little bird. Here's my little bird. There's two ways to do this. Here's a little bird. And, or chickadee, I should say, right? It's a chickadee. You can cut it out of white paper. Needs to be hand. Okay. Um, so I've cut the little bird out, and now I have the solid plate here. I also brought in some other uh, sentiments that I've already done, but I wanted you to see this. Uh, I've been talking about this tape, and I just did this. I had this sentiment. This was like the first one that I did, and there was all kinds of overfoiling in here. Well, you know, just extra because it was little. And you, can, I've left it here. I've left it on that end. Watch with this tape. I am amazed with this. This is like a total game changer for me because I would have not used this sentiment and now I'm going to use it. I am thrilled with that. Absolutely. A little bit here. And like I said, this is um, tape that has barely any sticky on it. So just have to say that. Okay, now the... <laughs> The uh, solid hot foil plate, pretty, too pretty, okay? And then the bird on top, or your die cut. And then your, your shims. The thin shim and then the spacer pad right there. Okay, I have a lot of things to use this hot plate with, so I thought this would be a good time to do it. I've also gone ahead and, um, well, this is just glued down flat on my cardstock. Uh, I ran into a little bit of a glitch, and so I had to trim back part of the video. So I've already done my stamping here and on my envelope. I don't remember if I showed you that already or not because I had to kind of um, edit the video. I see a little foil right there, which is fine. So it happens. And that took it right off. Oh my. Look at that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Just amazed. I'm amazed. I love that when people share wonderful ideas. And, you know, they really try so hard. Everyone does. Uh, to, uh, you know, have tips and tricks. And that is a wonderful tip and a trick right there. I love that. So I'm waiting for this to heat up. We'll run it through here. We're going to do some more solid hot foiling. I'm going to let this get hot and I'll be right back. Well, there's no sense to go. It just turns solid. Every time I say I'm going to be right back, it turns solid. You're going to love this. This is a way that you can foil your die cuts whether it be a little bird. Now I'm on a solid hot foil plate, so I'm coming back, okay? Because I want that foil to transfer very, very solidly, okay? <clears throat> so, but this is a great way to color your die cuts. I did a video about that a while back, um, and I really think that you all uh, will uh, love coloring your die cuts because even flowers... Or whatever. Now, I could have put a piece of copy paper here and I wouldn't get this stuck on my... See, I'm going to get a little foiling on here. But here is the bird, okay? Now, this is foiled with foiling on top of paper. 
to where you do get a little bit of the white showing through because of the indentations, okay, uh, from the dye with the embossed areas, okay? So a little bit shows through. Now, another thing we can do, because I'm not thrilled with that, I wanted to show you. Pretty too pretty, the whole sheet, okay? I cut that. And now I'm going to put a card. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to put this right on top. I'm going to dock this up. Should have docked it a minute ago, but it's pretty hot. Okay, so we're going to put that in the middle. We're going to get our pads right here. And that's no problem. A little acetone will take that right off. No problem. In fact, I just cleaned it before I, I did this because I did something backwards is why I boo-booed and then I had to do the bird again. So, <laughs> so Okay, so when everything turns, you know, on green, I'll be right back. Okay, all three of the lights are green. Let's go ahead and undock. And now what we're going to do, and I'm going to roll this through a few times because it's solid. Now what we're going to do is actually make foil paper. And now you can do this with any color. Could you imagine doing this in all of those? Like they have um, some foils that have sparkles in them. I, it's just so pretty. Okay. I'm going to redock that because I wanted to do these two sentiments while I, my machine was hot. But here we go. This now is... No ways, because of the solid plate. This is now a piece of glimmer paper. Isn't that wonderful? So pretty to pretty here. I'm just gonna kind of, ouch, they're hot. <laughs> Do these like this, and one's green, one's red. I think I have a piece of cardstock here that I'm just going to place that one there, bring this one down, and this does not matter because I'm cutting these out. They're going to be solid. I'm going to cut that out with the um, shadow dies. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, uh, here we have this. Now, like I said, here I have some of the white shining through, which, okay, you can get in here and you can use some ink and color if you wanted to. Okay, to do maybe a little green, maybe a little blue in there would look cute. But I think sometimes the white is adorable. Um, this, not so much for me, for the look that I'm looking for. So I wanted something more solid. I also wanted it to match my sentiment foil. Easy peasy. We made our own piece, right? Here we go. Let's bring in the cutting plate. Now, of course, I'm going to use this. Well, let me show you my first piece. This is amazing. This is my piece right here. I did the bottle brush trees. I did cut my little bird for the card there. I did my Merry Christmas. But see, I have all kinds of pieces and parts in here. I'm going to make stars and, um, you know, anything, really, uh, you know, that you want for Christmas. I think that would be pretty. So I'm just putting that right there. And... Here's my plate, and I'm going to cut this one out. But remember, now we have solid, okay, and we're going to look at the difference in this bird in just a second. Let me move this. Let me bring this in. Ooh, it scooched around. Did you see that? It did scooch. Here we go. We'll scooch it back. All right, let's go ahead. And back again, because we're on a solid plate. Now, let's see what we get here. Let me move all of my mess out of the way. And... Where'd my little bird go? It's not stuck to the bottom of my machine. Okay, let's take, oh, look how nice. Now, this is waste foil. There's always a little clear 
piece. And then I'll go ahead and die cut that. Let's see how my Merry Christmas came. Eh. I must have had some overfoiling, so I'm not too thrilled with that. But I like this piece of green here. There's no telling what I could do with the rest of that foil, so I'm not going to throw these away yet. Um, this one, a little underfoiling right here. Eh. If I cut it out, I don't think that we would see it that much, right? So I think that that could be used very easily. All right? Okay, now, let me find... There's that one bird. Now let me find my other one, and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, how wonderful. Look, and while I was away, I die cut this, and that is extremely usable. That's adorable, right? That's the reverse foil of this one. And I just love it. I love that the white shows on this one, and I love that the red on this one. Here's the first bird that we did the foiling on top of the already die-cut piece, and here's the bird with the foiling of the paper itself and then die-cutting, and you could see there is a definite, noticeable difference in, in what we have. So I really like this for what I'm doing today. Sometimes you might like that. I've done flowers like this, and I love the way they come because I want to see the embossed parts, okay? So it all depends on the look that you're going for. We're going to use these two today and just place these little guys on our card, and our card will be done for today. Thank you so much for hanging in here with me through any boo-boos. <laughs> it does happen, right? And uh, I try to edit the best I can. So, you know, it does happen. And you don't want to scrap the whole video just for one silly mistake, right? So that's okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. This is going to look beautiful. And let's try to get this nice and straight right there. And now we're going to put our little bird. I'll just cut this in half. and go ahead and place this little guy. And really, this entire card has been foiled. Just a couple of different techniques. A defeat, you know, it all depends, like I say, on the look that you are going for with what you're working with for that day. I'm going to put a little one back here. There we go. Support his little tail. And I'm going to put him like he is sitting on my sentiment. Just like that. I'm not putting any other little um, anythings around sequence or anything like that. We have enough going on that is just as shimmery as can be. I just love this card. So pretty. Now my next video will be of the negative waste foil of this card itself. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for clicking my links and I'll see you next time.